everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Desiree, here with Desiree Plans. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a first look at the Erin Condren 2024 Softbound Planners. Now, these are 2024 planners that were sent to me. I only received Softbound, though, so <laughs> I can't even confirm what is going to be released on September 12th. Um, I believe there are coiled options as well, but they didn't send me any, so I'm... What you see is what you get <laughs> at this point. I was sent different variations along with the new 2024 monthly sticker book with some pins and a few other accessories that we're going to go over. So first and foremost, let's go over the new Inspire Softbound. Now, again, I can't even confirm what sizes these are going to come in. At this point, we have a 2024 horizontal layout. It's A5 in size. A5 has always been horizontal layouts or academic, so be mindful of that. This is, again, starting in 2024. It does show a thick 80-pound paper, 12 months calendar views, two stylish dedicated pages, so your dashboard page, and then, again, the portable A5 in size. Um, just talk about Edit V, how this is the Inspire design that we already all know and love. As soon as you open it up here, Again, Life Planner Horizontal Layout, your name page. Then it jumps into the actual colorful and also beautiful um, Edivy design here with the quote. Then you have your 2024 year at a glance here with some notes down here. And guys, if I didn't show you already, look at that beautiful rose gold foil on the outside. So that is a plus there, <laughs> we'll say. Um, then you have your, I call it 12 months, but it's just 12 boxes for you to do whatever you're in the track here. I say January, February, March, April, May, June, and so on, but you can track different things here. Um, some people use it for, you know, still monthly, but whether it's fitness, cleaning, trips, vacations, or whatnot, you can do it that way too. Then you have your heritage and awareness observances. And guys, before I go too far, Tell me how you use this page. I want to know. <laughs> I've always done it monthly. If it's something different, let me know down in the comments, please, because I'm needing some inspo also. And then we have your Heritage and Awareness Observances. A little notes area here. Well, another little note area, which you've always had a notes page before the monthly here. So as you notice, there are no tabs, okay? So then you go into your January monthly spread here. Pretty basic, colorful, inspired. It does have your holidays and observances, a little notes area. Then here is your notes page with your dashboard, which inspire everything still in the background there. And your weekly spread, very bright and colorful, horizontal here. Still, you have the holiday written in there as well, but it is dated, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. A blank box here with the month, the current month here. This color theme is going to match for basically throughout the month of January. So it does have this whole section here bolded, I should say, in color. Normally in a, like a canvas type version, it's just a blank. But they have bold lines, bold color everything. So... If you're color and you like this, this is for you. If you don't, this is not for you. We'll talk about another one. <laughs> so here is February. Same themes matches the current um, Inspire themes, of course, too. So your holidays and observances here. This is what this dashboard looks like for February. And let me just confirm with you if it looks the exact same. Okay, here we go. This is my 18 month vertical, <laughs> but it's inspired. All right, so February, here is February. Well, I guess I should have gone back, here we go. So February pretty much looks the same. It looks a little bit darker in color, but it's ultimately the same here. And then as for your dashboard, yeah, pretty much the same concept there. Um, obviously not as big since it is A5, but it is the same. 
as you're leaving January, the color changes into February, and now you have this other color here. I call it, it looks like magenta to me, but it goes throughout until you get to March. March has that green theme, more colorful too though. And then there is your March dashboard, and then leaving February into March, now we transfer to the green color. So it is gonna be the same throughout. Let me just show you, here is April. I'll show you right quick here, I'll do a quick, there is May. Here is the June, leaving May into June, see the color change there. Here's July with that blue color. Here is August with the yellow. Leaving July into August, you can see the color change. September is a purple. Again, leaving August into September, there's a purple color there. October is orange. November is that blue, dark blue. And then December is in a green. So at the end of the planner here, you do have a few lined pages here, not many. And then you do have a 2025 year at a glance as well with some little bullets here to kind of write down, plan ahead and whatnot. And then a little blank area there. No pockets, no tabs, um, obviously no coil. What we didn't talk about is that there is a ribbon in here though. We do have a beautiful um, pink ribbon in here. Wow, I don't know which color you call it, it's peach. Um, to save your spot and whatnot. So that is the Inspire A5 Horizontal 2024 Planner. Before we move on to the other two planners I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the monthly sticker book here. It says, it's got a rose gold design there and it even has a canvas little asterisk there, which is interesting. But celebrate the season you are in. It's a, what they call the designer sticker book, monthly collection edition nine. In this book, there's over 500 colorful and mixed metallic stickers, as they're saying. And from the looks of it, all these colors are going to match each month in here. So as soon as you open it up here, you have January. Again, it even shows Cheers to 2024. Let me move it around so you can see some of these colors. It's got that blue foil, teal foil. You have two washi strips here. I say washi, but they're sticker. You got a January. You got some little dots there, deco. Some more deco. Start something new, a little quote. Some trees, snowflakes, animals. You have some quarter boxes. A little box here. And then down here, some page flags. A reminder, important, today, urgent, to do. I typically... They're so small, it'll probably fit in the monthly just fine if you wanted to cover things up or add to it. This monthly sticker is not gonna cover up this January. Well, I think it will cover up the January. Let me see. It actually could fit over it, just so you know. And you can have a shiny January. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be the same for all the months, but FYI. But you can fit these in here, your weekly, your dashboard. And so it's going to match each month accordingly. And obviously with these colors, it's going to complement these colors as well for the month. So however you're going to decide to use it, it should be fine. For February, here is that magenta color we talked about here. More themed, Valentine's themed. You are so loved, XOXO. Little heart there, share the love. Same thing, just a different design here. As for March, let's come back to March. I've always liked getting these sticker books, but I will say this year's isn't my favorite. <laughs> I think I like last year's better, even the year prior, but I don't know. 
Here is Marge. These stickers though, guys, they do work out nicely in the pocket planner, which is coming. They did not send that to me though, which I'm a little confused because it is a soft phone. <laughs> but yeah, um, and I'll show you my current one so you have an idea what to look out for. So March, again, you got like a little clover there. Make your own magic. Put that green foil. Here is April with purple. There is beauty everywhere. Again, you got those cool pages, the foil deco still. So to match the purple theme, right? Then you got May with the beautiful peach tones. The strongest you embrace. May's also Mother's Day, so it's kind of like along that lines too, with the florals over here. Still cute, not my favorite. Uh, let's see. Here is June with the green teal looking color. June has always been my favorite. They've always done like the iridescent holographic type foils, more beachy theme. Um, little shell there, so it's kind of nice. Here you have some foil on this strip as well but again to match the green teal on that july has always been like for fourth of july in my opinion and they kept it with that blue still um here though you have flowers so that's a little different but bold stripes bright stars you got fireworks so kind of beach summery theme but yeah this is what you got for july Here is August, August being yellow, more so back to school typically. Here is the August theme. It reminds me of last year's back to school collection too with this design here, kind of childish. But it's cute, it's still cute. Matches that yellow. Here is September, purple, fall. I don't know. I'm not a fan of why mushroom a charcuterie board. That's cool. <laughs> I guess you have foil on these leaves here. Yeah. September, October, they themed it towards Halloween, which it's always been themed towards Halloween. Um, this can be good and bad for those. Some people don't celebrate holidays, so it's kind of like pointless or they won't use all of it, just some of it. Um, it ends up being a waste, you know, so yeah. This is what they're using for October. Here is November, which they've always used as Thanksgiving type, fall. Um, not even fall, but September. I mean, November, like Thanksgiving, basically, with a great fall heart. They got pie, like if you're cooking and all that. It's pretty basic for November. And then December with that green. It's still, I say Christmas because I celebrate Christmas, but there is like a Hanukkah, so holiday is still um, on there, but in that green. Let me know what you think about the monthly circuit book. It's definitely not my favorite this year. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. These stickers do work out great in the pocket planner. Um, let me show you my pocket planner real quick so you can have an idea what to expect. So they've usually sent these planners to me in the past. This year they didn't. So I'm a little sad. I will be getting one though just to kind of show you. Um, again, these are the ones in the past here. This is an old one. But... You can at least get an idea for the monthly stickers when I did use them. This is how they worked. And so, again, they're different this year, but I basically put it on my monthly spread with the strips. These are all from past monthly sticker books, like I just showed you. Obviously, I didn't do February. There's March. I used their own stickers. So you can see they were much bigger then. Had more deco, I think. More brighter deco. Again, past stickers, though, okay? Okay. This, I don't even know how old these are, but these are the stickers I like. They're bigger than what I just showed you, so I'm kind of bummed out about it. But it worked out in past planners. Here is another one that I did. Here we go, 2022, last year's. Um, I used the sticker book too, though. Only their stickers to kind of show you how it works out in the pocket. So if this is something for you... I, like I said, they work out great in the pocket. Not only does it fit in the front, but I use it in my dashboard area too, which I never use the dashboard. I just use the stickers to kind of show you basically. Here's April. See, it's always matched the same colorway though. Um, so know that you'll have all that deco there. Obviously it can work in any planner. This is what I put it in though. 
And like I said, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't have the new one here. All right, so this is my color blends one. This is this year, I believe. Here we go. It doesn't say 2023 in here, but these are the 2023 ones with the sticker book out there now. And I still use the dashboard to kind of use their sticker sheet so that it would work out. So a lot of different ways you can use it, obviously, if you're going to use it in a planner at all. But you see, I like these stickers better than this year's. I just do. Oh, well, as you can see, stickers got smaller and smaller, in my opinion, aside from the boxes. The tabs that I'm using, oh, and actually I switched over. So I don't know what I did with those stickers, but I used Planner Kate. Planner Kate has monthly stickers that fit in here perfectly. And so I use those. Those were giving me more color. <laughs> here is July. I still use some of theirs though, but I switched over to Planner Kate because Planner Kate also has the stickers that match accordingly. So this is all just Planner Kate deco now. Here's the October Planner Kate deco. And I'll be, like I said, I'm going to link everything down below for you so you can review it and whatnot. But these stickers were working out better for me. December, still the green though, kind of give you an idea. I've only used Passion Planner tabs, guys, in my actual planners that need tabs. They are like a cardstock laminated and they work out great. This is all black, as you can see. This is like a peach. They have different versions. They have like 30 different types of tabs. So I have like the peach there, but back here, I have actually holographic there. And then these, I did the rainbow, because again, it was like a rainbow theme, right? So it worked out, but you can tab your planner. Definitely be on the lookout for the pocket planners. I am for sure. But these are the sticker books, the sticker book for this year. I'm definitely not getting an extra one because I'll probably end up using my Planner Kate stickers in my other one. Here is planner number two. They sent the Focus Large Soft Blown Weekly Planner here. 192 pages, January to December, vegan leather. This is part of the Focus collection. As you can see, it's like a, a green, dark teal green, but it's got the gold stripes. The outside, though, is not gold. It's just the white only. Looks the same in the back as well. This is called the Peacock Pinstripe. And this large planner that I'm showing you here, it's 8 by 10. So not your typical 7 by 9 coil that you're used to. It's 8 by 10. As soon as you open it, again, expect it to be more focused here. Let me zoom out a bit. Here we go. Focus planner. This book belongs to. You still have your 2024 year at a glance with some notes down here. Then you have your holidays for all of 2024. Then you have your dates. Now, again, it's 12 months. You can list it however you like, whatever important dates you have going on here. Then you have your monthly spread. It does include the holidays and observances. It has the month behind and the month ahead with the notes area still. No color, as you can see, very plain. Then you have your January dashboard. You have three different blocks, so you can use whatever you want however you want to use it here. You have a checklist and then a blank box and then a dot grid page over here for you to use before it goes into the weekly spread. This is a horizontal weekly planner. It still has the holidays over here. It does have the Monday spell, the day spelled out and you have the first half of it's lined. The second half is a blank box. So however, you're going to use it accordingly. Saturday and Sunday do have their own days, which is perfect. You have a little notes area and then a little checklist area on this side for the end of the week. Each week is going to look the same throughout the planner. Again, being that it is a focus, meaning no color, design, or whatnot, it's going to look the same throughout. You have two blank pages before you go into the February spread. Again, pretty basic. February dashboard weekly before going into, of course, March. So again, real basic, high level. Um, the gold stripes though, I, it could be professional, it could be too much. Obviously they are gonna have different versions out there for you to choose from. 
In the back of the planner, you do have a contacts page, a few notes pages, your 2025 year at a glance, and then the back, and that is it. No actual folders, no pockets, no stickers, and no tabs. So very basic. It is soft bound, so it can go with you. Obviously, 80 pound paper, so nothing's supposed to leak. Um, but very nice, though. It is pretty. Um, it's like very focused. <laughs> it's like a classy focus. I don't know what you want to call it. This next planner that I have is the Softbound Weekly Planner 2024. Still 8 by 10 in size, but it's the Wildflowers design here. And again, it's the vertical layout in this one. 8 by 10 in size, though. Remember that. It does have a nice shine to it, um, even though it's vegan leather. You got the wildflower. Obviously, you can see it has a ribbon as well. This one has a gold foiling on the outside of each all the way around. So that's very pretty. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Obviously, it has gold there, but wildflowers typically has rose gold, doesn't it? I'm happy for gold. As soon as you open it up, you have the wildflowers design. Again, wildflowers is probably going to match the other one too. It's a vertical layout though. Here's your dashboard quotes page. You have your 2024 year at a glance, very similar to the other one. This is in fact very similar to the normal vertical wildflowers, only it's slightly bigger because it's eight by 10 in size. You have the 12 boxes here. Heritage Awareness Observances, the notes page before going into January. Here's your January dashboard and here is your monthly. So very much the same as your current January 2024 coil planners that are going to be out there already. Still the same wildflowers, all that the same. So have your line notes page. Here is your dashboard, the same as the current 2024 planner. And then here is your vertical. Now, although it is vertical, it is a bigger vertical. Same design theme and all, where you have the lines, you have the bottom boxes down here. This is 8 by 10 your normal one and a half stickers aren't gonna fit. Well, they will fit in there, but they're gonna swim in there. So let me show you. I'm just gonna show you real quick with this sampler. This is a Planner Kate sampler, <laughs> but this is meant, this is one and a half in size, and it's meant to fit the normal one and a half size planner that's in the seven by nine. But as you can see, this one gives you space on both on this side. So it is slightly bigger than the one and a half. You basically have to center your stickers to make it look decent and whatnot but you can use any sticker in here obviously but it'd be best to center it rather than put it right on the edge so that it looks very nice take that off so one and a half normal vertical stickers are too small for this planner fyi um, you might find some luck with happy planner stickers but they're still going to be thin they'll just be taller for you though so this is what your weekly spread looks like here is february 2024 still same design here is your dashboard page that design in the background and still at the end of this month it changes to the other color here the other neutral color in wildflowers here is march i'm not a wildflowers person i do have my daily duo in wildflowers they did gift that to me but i'm also a sticker user so i covered up with stickers <laughs> so yeah sticker kits are harder to come by in eight by ten in my opinion so be mindful of that too um here's april 2024 um i know i should be selling this to you but i can only share what i like and i'm showing you so that you know and you can make your decision um, it is beautifully designed so that you don't have to use any stickers. So keep that in mind too, especially a softbound. You don't want it to get too thick with all the stickers. Unlike a coil where it expands, it can give you space. A normal softbound can't do that. It'll get very chunky. Here is August. September. October. November. Here's December. And again, different colorways throughout. 
after the end of December, you do have the rest of the week from January in there, but after that, that's it. You have your few line notes pages, then your 2025 year at a glance, and the back of the planner. And that is it for the Erin Condren Wildflowers Softbound Planner. Now, I'm really not a fan of many of these softbounds other than the pocket. Um, I have had A5 in the past. Um, I might use that one for journaling. I'm more of a colorful person, so this might be for me, but let me know what you think. I know there's a lot of people out there that are just waiting for the softbound, so I know y'all use it um, for everything. This is a 2024 mini calendar sticker pack. So for those that don't use a planner, but maybe do the Bujo thing with the notepads, the notebooks, I should say, this is our 2024 monthly sticker pack. You have the month and year in foil, so it's kind of hard to see until you angle it. 2024, you have some little checklists potentially and some flags. This matches the same colorway as the, the colorful Inspire planner. So January, February, there's March, April, May, June. June's very green. July, August, September, October, November, December. It does kind of have that ombre effect though. So more so maybe color blends, I guess. So keep that in mind. I was also sent this perpetual calendar. So this is a new desk accessory that they'll be releasing. It's acrylic perpetual calendar. And there's two parts to it, two parts to it. Basically you have this one here where it's gonna sit as like a little table stand there. And it has all the dates here. This is very similar to something they already have in the shop now, but it has the actual pin case with it. Not a pin case, but like a pin holder. But here, basically, you slide it accordingly for whenever the first starts. So if first starts on a Friday, like September did, you'd slide it over. And there is a first, second. It is kind of hard to see because it's in a foil color. So that, they could have done better on that part um, with the gold. Maybe just make it all black so it can pop out and you can see it. My thing, though, I don't know that they thought about this. When you have it, and it works out great when it's at the end because you have a little blank area to write on. You have a lined area to write on, so you can use your wet erase, dry erase markers, and it's nice. But once you get over here, like if, if the first is right here, perfect, it's fine, right? But then what do you do with all this? You still see all these numbers. It's like pointless, it should have been blank. Like, okay, <laughs> I don't know. Things like that irk me, I don't like it. That will be available though. I don't know if it's gonna be in any other colorway. This just says acrylic. So yeah, I don't talk about like colorful or anything. It just says other than it's lilac. Maybe it might be available in another design. I don't know. But know that that's gonna be there for you as well. And then we got the assorted six pack of mild liners. Now these definitely pick up. These are very nice. Um, this is like my fifth set. <laughs> so I'm very happy they sent it to me. Um, basically, you have different sizes, okay? You have your 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and then a brush. So it gets thicker as you go along, and it's perfect. They don't bleed either, especially on this 80-pound paper. What's nice, though, too, is that it tells you what it is get closer here we got it so if you can see that the lighting focus 0 0.2 it'll show the other sizes as well so it'll say focused brush and you basically got a brush marker these write very well definitely get some of these if you're going to be picking up a new planner here um, especially if you get for more accessories, you get like the extra discount too and all, so. All right, so here are some of the images that we received late. 
like hours before launch here. So just want to give you some insight on what to expect here. But there is a, a five wildflowers you can see there. There's even this hourly one with an inspired design on here. Even a new Hello Kitty theme planner. I don't know that anybody got any coil planners. So again, don't know what to tell you. But there is a canvas option, as you can see there. New inserts will be coming out. Here is this calendar at a glance there. And some new 2024 covers that I'm actually really excited about. Here's how these Bujo stickers could look in your notebook. And then, of course, a focus desk pad, which I did have and forgot to show you. But um, let me know what you think down below in the comments, though. I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think about these new planners, what I've shown you so far? Everything is going to be linked down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all.